more Air Jordans for me. Ski! Welcome back to the channel, Sonny. What was it again? Oh yeah. Squad! And if you're new, welcome to the channel. How y'all doing? I'm Sonny and this is Sonny Kicks. And y'all already know what y'all here for. Today I'm gonna be showing y'all a review in top tier on feet, of course, of the Air Jordan 8 playoff. Now, like always, I'm gonna start off with the packaging. They come in the original Air Jordan 8 box. And fun fact for anybody who didn't know, this is the first time that box was ever used. It was on the 8s. No, it was not for the 7s, 9s, 10s. It was the 8s. The sizing label says Air Jordan 8 Retro, black, true red, white, size 11 and a half and they will retail for $210 on September 30th. But these did release twice already on the Nike sneakers app. The first time was a shock drop and the second time was exclusive access. And yeah, I did not win any of those. I actually got this pair from going to Boston Got Soul. I was specifically looking for this shoe right here. Only one table had a size 12, but for whatever reason, they wanted like 280 for them bugging but thankfully a size 11 and a half was available for a price i was willing to pay which was 240 and i didn't mind paying that because if i was to get the shoe online after taxes and if i was to do next day shipping i would be paying around that anyways so when it comes to sizing on jordan 8 I recommend going true to size. Now, the only reason I'm able to fit a size 11 and a half is because I have very narrow and slim feet, so it still works out. It's a little snug, but it is what it is. They're still really comfortable. If you have regular feet though, definitely stay true to size. And if you have wider feet, then I would say go up half a size. And going back to comfortability, they are very comfortable. I can wear these for an entire day and not have any problems whatsoever. And I know that from experience because I've done it numerous times already. The Air Jordan 8 playoff originally came out in 1993 and history was definitely made in this shoe. That 92-93 season is where Jordan and the Bulls won their third championship in a row aka the 3P which is something that was never done until then. In that playoff series Jordan played 19 games and his averages were 35.1 points 6.7 rebounds and 6 assists. For the finals they played against the Suns and Jordan just went absolutely ballistic. And here's what his highlights was looking like. This was almost the last shoe we would see Jordan play basketball in because he retired shortly after the championship win to go play baseball. Now even though he did get pretty far in the pro baseball league, he ended up coming back to the NBA and y'all already know where the story goes from there. The original Air Jordan 8 colorways are the Playoff, Bugs Bunny, and Aqua. By the way, I love the fact that he was partnered up with the Looney Tunes. They did different commercials and stuff like that. And of course, the Space Jam movie. That was tough. I don't know why we didn't get more of that with other future NBA players. But out of those three colorways, comment down below which one is your favorite. Me personally, I'ma say Aqua's all day. The playoffs would release again in 2003, but as a low top, which for some reason actually looked kind of good to me, and that's rare because I despise Jordan Lowe's. But after that, the playoff eights would see a proper release in 2007, but with a black pull tab instead of red. Then they released again in 2013. These also had a black pull tab and feature stronger hints of gray on the midsole. And now they are back in 2023, after a whole 10 years we interrupt this program to bring you one word away from being higher than the atmosphere no man but god and that's barely loyal to the fam and to the money whom i married i rap like bruce fight it's hard to compare me i might be too nice for y'all to act scary i'm very sure i'm more than you can fathom i spit acid all the shit that you can't imagine pen and pad and paper darkening from the ashes of raw <coughs> It's me, I'm a local to dawn Giving you bars and you ain't getting born Locked in a cell in your mind I've been here for some time and it's crazy we don't get along I see the way you be plotting this shit It's all in your eyes when you pocket the grit One thing that I know you best running that store You take everything green and you pop them in dip To tell you the truth, you're an opportunist If you think you can, then you gotta do it Pull up on the brakes and the rocket through it At the end of the day, this is riding music I'm the man, not your man, baby, don't confuse it And I don't give a damn about a humble movement I'm just talking my shit cause I'm going through it I don't bug, I don't hear, I'm a fucking loser now as for the quality, 
the overlay is covered in this beautiful black nubuck it feels absolutely amazing i'm not entirely sure what type of material is mixed in with this leather for the underlay but it also feels really nice and durable the chanel patch on the tongue is always a treat with eight that's one of my favorite details alongside the straps with a stitch 23. The neoprene booty inside of the shoe is what adds to the comfort. And not to mention, the graphic artwork used throughout the inside of it goes crazy. And to my knowledge, only the Playoff 8s have that detail. But something that all Jordan 8s have is this awesome graphic TPU located on the outer and inner sides of the shoe near the heel. The midsole has subtle hints of glitter it's not noticeable unless you're holding the shoe and looking directly at it, but I really do like that they kept the midsole black this time instead of adding gray like the previous releases after the OG. Now as for the colorway, the shoe is predominantly black with hints of red and white throughout. The insole is black with a white Nike Air. Something very special about this release is that the pull tab is red just like the OGs. It's a small detail but it still looks great. There's a lot of royal blue on the outsole and it even creeps up to the toe cap. There's also hints of yellow throughout the shoe but it's barely noticeable when you're wearing them. It feels so good to finally have the playoff eights in the collection. The trifecta is finally complete. I have the playoffs, aquas, and the bugs bunnies. Quick side note, this is how my collection looking at the moment. And after giving this some more thought, a lot of different people say that Jordan 8s don't have that many good colorways. There are a lot of really good Jordan 8 colorways out there. Let's be honest, a lot of people just not looking for real. Outside of the OG set, you have the Chrome 8s, the P Pods, Ruri Hachimura, aka Black Samurai, Trophy, the White OVOs, Orange Blaze, Take Flight, the Cool Grays were decent, Valentine's Day, Phoenix, Dorn Becker. Like I said, there's a lot out there. Y'all just not looking for real. And so now for the pros and cons, of course, like always, we're doing cons first and then end it off with a positive note. The retail price is something that I can definitely see a lot of people not messing with for real, but you do have a lot of other people that don't care. They really want the shoe like me. So they are definitely gonna pay that price. Some people are even willing to go ahead and spend the extra resale on it, but I'm gonna just tell y'all right now, do not go over $250 for this shoe. As a matter of fact, I would say hold out on resale, like actually try and look for your size at different stores, like DTLR, that's a primary one. DTLR and Finish Line, those are my first go-to stores I always check. Then of course do like Champs and Foot Locker. They, they just really never have my size available, so. And also there is not a large following behind Jordan 8, so there's a good chance that these actually will sit. So yeah, if you want the shoe, just go hard for it on release day and there's a nine out of 10 chance you'll actually get them. And actually, since we are talking about resale and prices and all that, I might as well go ahead and check out StockX and whatnot see what the eights are hitting for right now before the release date so yeah my size 12 right now lowest ask is 242 highest bid is 230 and according to the sale history 244 242 230s definitely do not pay over 240 dollars for the playoff eights and i'm gonna go ahead and put up all the sizes yeah if you pay anything over 240 dollars for resale you got finessed. Got a little sidetracked there, but back to the pros and cons. So I said for the con, the first one was the price. And for the second con, this underlay material, not gonna lie, I wish it was new buck. And that's really like the only issue I had with the shoe when I first saw images of it. But after having them in hand and seeing them in person and different lighting and whatnot, it's really not that big of a deal to be honest. And for the third con, I don't even really want to put it against these but it's really just black nubuck material in general it gets very dusty pretty quickly definitely make sure you have a lint roller trust me it works i used it on my aqua eights that's why they still look good and do not i repeat do not leave them just sitting out whenever you're done wearing them just put them in a box or whatever storage thing you have like or even like some display cases as long as they're not sitting out you'll be good also to make sure the straps don't mess up and get all bent up and out of shape um i Actually have my aquas right here so you want to make sure that you secure the straps back onto the shoe when you put them away that way the straps won't get all bent up out of shape and then just start looking crazy and so that's it for the cons when it comes to the pros the colorway for one 
fire. You can really do a lot with this shoe. There's a lot of different outfits you can get off with these colorways. But nonetheless, my final thoughts on the shoe is that it's amazing. I am so thankful that they brought these back. And it's been a pretty long time since we got an OG Jordan 8 colorway. The last time was 2015 and it was the Aquas. I wouldn't mind if we get the Bugs Bunny next. I, yeah, I could use a new pair of this. Yeah, these are from 2008 and they're definitely still holding up, but I could definitely use a nice and fresh pair. And then after that, we can get another Aqua. And I would like to see Jordan Brand make some new good colorways for the 8s. I've seen that it's possible with the Ruiz, but I hope that these are an indicator that we have more Jordan 8s to come. I would definitely... Yeah, I would like some more eights. And in this like new shape that they're doing, this new modern shape, I love it. They might sit, they might slowly sell out. Time will definitely tell. But if you enjoy content like this, I wanna see more, this is definitely the place for you. I do other sneaker videos, clothing videos, lacing videos, and yeah. Anything else relating to sneakers or clothing content, it's all here on the channel. But real quick, if you enjoyed, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you haven't yet. The grind is not stopping. We on that road to 100K. Comment down below your thoughts on the new playoff eights. Are you going for a pair? Do you already have a pair? Or do you just not like Jordan 8s? Let me know. Hey. Yeah. I hope all of y'all have an amazing day. Stay safe and see you next time. That's all, folks. That's my client's line. It says so in my uh, uh, deal.